the next thing is I almost always put a vignetting border around the edge of the image. Now almost every piece of editing software has the ability to make this. I prefer making my own because I feel you have more control that way. So the next thing we need to do is make a blank layer. And on this blank layer we need to put a border. So we need to go to select all and that tells where we want to place the border. And now we're going to go on up and we're going to get down to stroke. And here we can set the stroke size. Now this is directly related to the resolution of your image. If you have a 72-bit image, 15 is going to be much larger than it is in a 300. So because this is a high-res image, I'm going to actually put about 30 in here. I always use black. I've tried using other colors and they just don't seem to work as well. So I usually use black. Click OK. And we're going to see this is put a border around the image. Now it's very important that this border has to be on a new layer. Then you're going to go on up to filters. You're going to get down to blur and Gaussian blur. And now by moving the slider we have a lot more control over exactly where that vignette goes in the image. <clears throat> so we can move it back and forth. So I usually pick a spot, and I know it looks too strong. But the beauty of it is that you can now go in, use the, I use these two interchangeable. I slide it across and you can see now I can control exactly how much vignette I put in. Now I go to a point and I where I don't think it's working anymore or I can't see any difference. Then if I turn that on and off I can see that it is having an effect and that's all you want. You want just enough to help push the eye back into the image. By darkening the edges it's another way to try and contain the eye within the image. These are the basic adjustments that I use on almost every image that I produce. 